having said that i also want to cover the mid rankers here uh, because uh, this is a very important thing to discuss the mid rankers here i would say someone between 5000 rank to 30000 rank and this is a very important topic of concern because if you're confident enough that you're going to get your desired seat via state counseling or all india counseling then it's good enough but if you're in a doubt then you have to think otherwise for example guys uh, even i got 5000 rank and i was not happy at that moment because i was not sure whether i will get md uh, or not because i wanted to pursue only medicine so uh, with the 5000 rank it's always a dicey situation and i was also not eligible for my state counseling so from all india counseling it always becomes difficult to predict whether you will get a md medicine seat or not but i was fortunate that i got to explore the option of dnb and uh, today i am pursuing dnb general medicine and i am really happy and uh, content that's what i want for all the mid rankers that you should definitely explore the option of dnb so that you don't have to compromise on your uh, dream branch uh, even after getting a good rank i have made a complete video uh, regarding dnb versus md and ms and the pros and cons before uh, taking up dnb i will put the link in the i button you can watch them later coming back to the topic so dnb option you can explore definitely but should you wait for the counseling or should you start preparing so guys this is a dicey situation because you cannot wait till the counseling because this year counseling is expected to be in august somewhere and you cannot wait 5 months uh, to know whether you are going to get your dream branch or not and then you decide upon uh, whether to give a drop or compromise in whatever branch you're getting so i would suggest you have to start preparing because if you start preparing in august then it will be very very late and you won't get much time again to revise so the best solution for all the mid rankers that is 5000 to 30000 i would definitely say start preparing i won't ask you to study 8 to 10 hours from uh, today itself but definitely the best thing is you have ini city in front of you so you have a target and you should focus on studying at least 3 to 4 hours a day not much just focus on the pyq topics 